the Ides of March are come. I seize. But not come. Bill Caesar, read the schedule. Bonies, that's desire. At your best leisure, this be your humble suit. O oh, Caesar, read mine first. For mine's a suit that touches Caesar nearer. Read it, great Caesar. What touches us ourselves shall be last served. Read it instantly, great Caesar. What? Is the fellow mad? <laughs> Sir, give place. What urge you, your petitions in the street? Come to the capital. I wish your enterprise today may thrive. What enterprise, Pompilius? Fare you well. What's up, Pompilius Lano? She wished today our enterprise might thrive. I fear our purpose is discovered. Look, I am next to Caesar. Mark him. Cast a beast at for you fear prevention. Brutus, what shall be done? If this be known, cast us through Caesar, never shall turn back, for I will slay myself. Cassius, be constant. Papilius Lena speaks not of our purposes. For look, he doth smile, and Caesar doth, and Caesar doth not change. Trebonius knows his time. For look, you, Brutus, he draws Antony out of the way. Where is Metellus Simber? Let him go, and presently prefer his suit to Caesar. He's a dress. Press near and second him. Casca, you are the first to raise your hand. Are we all ready? What is now amiss that Caesar and his Senate must redress? Most high, and most mighty, and most puissant Caesar, Metellus Simber throws before thy seat an humble heart. I must prevent these Simber, these couchings, and these lowly courtesies, my fire the bloods of no ordinary men, and turn preordinance and first decree into the law of children. Be not fond, I think, that Caesar bears such rebel blood that which will be thawed from the true quality with that which melteth fools, I mean sweet words, low crooked curtsies, and base spaniel fawning. Thy brother by decree is banished. If thou dost bend and pray and fawn for him, I spurn thee like a cur out of my way. No, Caesar doth not wrong, nor without cause will he be satisfied. Is there no voice more worthy than my own? to sound more sweetly in great Caesar's ear for the repealing of my banished brother. I kiss thy hand, but not in flattery, Caesar, desiring me that Publius Simber may have an immediate freedom of repeal. Watch, Brutus. Pardon, Caesar, Caesar, pardon! As low as to thy foot doth Cassius fall to beg enfranchisement for Publius Simber. I could be well moved if I were as you. I could pray to move if prayers would move me. But I am constant as the northern star whose true fixed and resting quality there is no firmament. The skies are painted with unnumbered sparks, and they are all fire and every one doth shine. But there is but one, and all doth hold this place. So in the world it's furnished well with men, and men are flesh and blood and apprehensive. Yet in the number I do know but one that unassailable holds his rank, unshaped of motion, and I am he. Let me show it, even this that I was constant, Simber, should be banished, and constant do I remain to keep him so. O oh, Caesar! Then wilt thou lift up Olympus? Great Caesar! Doth not Brutus bootless kneel? Speak hands for me. Yes! Oh my <laughs> Ah, uh, then falls.
Caesar. Liberty, freedom, tyranny is dead. Run hence, proclaim, cried about the streets. Some common pulpits cry out, Liberty, freedom, and enfranchisement. People and senators, be not affrighted. Fly not, stand still. Ambitions, debt is paid. Go to the pulpit, preacher. Mm -hmm. And Cassius, too. Where is Publius? Here, quite confounded with this mutiny. Stand fast together, lest some friend of Caesar should pass. Talk not of standing. Publius, good cheer. There is no harm intended to your person, nor to no Roman else. So tell them, Publius. And leave us, Publius. Lest that the people rushing on us should do your age some mischief. Do so, and let no man ride this deed but we the doers. Where is Antony? Fled to his house amazed, men, wives, and children stare, cry out, and run as it were doomsday. Fates, we will know your pleasures. That we shall die, we know it is but the time, in drawing days out that men stand upon. Why he that cuts off twenty years of life cuts off so many years of fair and bad. Grant that. And then is death a benefit? So are we Caesar's friends that have abridged his time of fearing death. Stoop, Romans, stoop, and let us bathe in our hands in Caesar's blood. Up to the elbows and besmear our swords, then walk we forth even to the marketplace. And waving our red weapons o'er our heads, let's all cry, Peace, freedom, and liberty. Stoop then, and wash. How many ages hence shall this our lofty scene be acted over uh, in states unborn and accents yet? I know. How many times shall Caesar bleed in sport that now on Pompey's base lies long no worthier than the dust? So often as that shall be, so often shall the not of us be called the men that gave their country liberty. What shall be forth? I, every man away, Brutus shall lead, and we will grace his heels with the most boldest and best hearts of Rome. What's up, Pompilius? <laughs> Great. What if they go Keep on. Keep on. Okay. Ah, so that's, that's fine. Hey. Okay. You're dead on the floor. Caesar! <laughs> Caesar, read mine first. For mine's a stupid. Okay, cut. Stop recording or I will come over there and beat you to death.